Hi, welcome back to another Princess Connect video. My name is Lace, and today we are going to be talking about Clan Battle 5 preparation, Mr. Leo, Wolfman. Okay, I guess a lion is a little bit different to a wolf, but I digress. So this one's going to be a little bit different because it's at this point in time where I believe CN deviates from JP. And the reason that this matters so much is because JP, like a lot of the timelines, we don't know about. It's been about three years since JP has like had these CB bosses. And so I don't know if you can, uh, uh, I personally, like don't see much from like JP and so the reason we can't use the CN ones is because some of the bosses stats so including like the defense and the M defense it's really hard to tell what we are going to get especially since we were following the CN timeline at the start and then we moved to the JP timeline and so this might like actually promote like a real clown fiesta because it means that nobody is going to have like the predefined like best comps and stuff what this means is that we might just actually be able to have that creativity that I keep talking about you know like we can actually go on and make some cool comps it's just gonna be a clown fiesta everywhere nobody's gonna really know what they're doing unless like they find like the jp logs of course there is the chance that we are gonna get the cn timelines and the cn bosses but like we'll see what happens all right without further ado let me introduce you to clan battle 5 aka leo so guys as you can see leo is a lion but more than that let's have a look at each lap so we've got wyvern griffin you guys already know who these guys are after wyvern and griffin we do have beetle as you can see lap one beetle it looks rather easy however he gains a whole bunch of defense and m defense in lap two then we've got the bear we faced this guy before in clan battle beta if you guys remember him he just mauled the crap out of my team and yeah it was really sad days then however this is our opportunity to get him back so let's go and last but not least we have leo or, or leon pretty straightforward i don't think it's going to be too crazy grab or minotaur but like hopefully this will be a good one okay so let's have a look at these m defenses and like to be honest what i learned from cn is that all of these guys like they don't take many magic teams wyvern and griffin you guys should already know it's going to be like your Makoto, Kari tanks. And then like for Wyvern, it's going to be like your Jun tanks. Griffin, you're going to be looking at characters like Jun. You know what? Let me just grab the sheet. Okay, guys, this should be so familiar for you guys. So Griffin, you're going to be using something like that. And for Wyvern, you're going to be using something like this one over here. Sometimes some people do substitute Susana for uh, Arisa or like Hiori. But for the most part, you guys should be so familiar with these two bosses. Like they sh that should be it. Okay, so with Wyvern and Griffin out of the way, let's have a look at Beetle. So you see Beetle is like a weak weak little boy but that is only for lap one 165 defense up to 250 defense he actually gains like almost 100 defense and what you notice is that he goes from 130 to 180 m defense so it kind of makes you think man should i use a magic team and the answer to that is we'll freaking try it out so from my research i guess from just the cn perspective this was the last time that there were three physical teams used and so you guys have better got like your flex dps's up so i'm talking like you guys better have like your hiores your sarens your arisas your Susanas, your Shioris, probably not your Rays, but definitely your Eriko, definitely your Tamaki, and definitely your Jita. I personally don't have Jita, so like I'm just gonna find someone else to use. Okay, so going back to the Beetle Boy, this is actually a really interesting boss. And the reason it's interesting is because this is probably the first boss. I don't know if it's the last boss, but it's the first boss to actually like lower its own P def and M def. And what I mean by that is if I hop over to Maho Maho Insight and you can see this text over here, uh, unfortunately, pre calc does not have the like translated skills. So if we have a quick look through here some of the skills for the beetle so he does physical damage to the front two enemies and then stuns them as well so as you can imagine a little bit of rng there after that he's got a physical damage to all enemies at the same time i don't know if like you're having trouble shizuru comes to mind however the interesting one is down here and moderately reduces his physical defense and magic defense and so this reduction in physical defense and magic defense is actually tied to his ub so that means that every time he uses his ub this activates and so how do you actually take advantage of that well what you really want to do is then like make him charge his UB as much as possible and so how exactly do you do that so I'm gonna actually link or show you guys a TP building chart so both your team and the enemy uses this chart to gain TP so the mechanic that we're actually going to be relying on is the fact that you gain a lot of TP when you kill something and so that means that we're going to be feeding our units to the beetle boss okay so that's not actually strictly true however what we do have is we have old mate shinobu over here so for you guys who don't use shinobu enough like what shinobu does is she summons her dad and so her dad which is a skull she is going to like put him like towards the front line and then what the beetle can do is then like kill her dad and so when the beetle kills her dad he is going to get a whole bunch of tp and then hopefully it's going to cause him to ub obviously you do need to be prepared for this because again like he does damage with it but if you do want to try this i would recommend like boosting up your shinobu so another way to take advantage of this is to use like your chica or like any other units that can summon and so that is actually one of the first techs that you can use here the second tech which is actually not 
featured here is actually your summer cockro. Uh, I don't have a picture of her, but you guys should already know summer cockro. Summer cockro is the welfare unit that we just got in this new patch. And so at three stars, she is actually quite a great support healer. So as you guys can see, look at that summer cockro. And if I hop over to her skills, you guys already know her skill one reduces enemy physical defense. That is already so massive, especially in CB. So previously, I believe we had like between five, five and a half to six like physical defense down units. However, with summer cockro, like constantly giving us physical defense debuff as well as like increasing allies physical attack like she is definitely going to be like so useful for CB and so she is one of the characters that we are definitely featuring in the beetle boss so some sample teams could be like definitely the team that we looked at before for face tanking uh who have we got we've got this one except with uh, summon Kokoro instead of Kokoro a massive idea behind this one is that Kokoro is actually switched to the front UBs and so she stays there and then tanks and then heals herself however with summon Kokoro summon Kokoro's UB actually heals so it heals somebody else Else. And so what can happen is that just the frontal tank, for example, a Kauri 5 star can be the one that's getting healed. So yeah, you could be looking at something like this, but with Summer Kokoro here instead. You could run the same thing with Summer Kokoro, but with like a Shinobu here instead as well. There are honestly a lot of possibilities. And again, I will try showcase some when CB comes. Okay, so with that being said, let's move on to the next boss, which is the Bear Wolf Man. So if you guys remember, he does the massive, massive damage up front. And there are a couple of techs for this guy. But before that, let me introduce you to him. So he does large physical damage to enemies in the front and applies a stun and he also reduces your physical attack power as well as that. So when we first saw this guy, I believe we ran Miyako to like combat his massive physical damage. However, nowadays we do have a lot more options. Honestly, I don't know if we can face tank with like a Kari or a Makoto 5 star, but that is definitely the first thing that I would try considering like we are going to be doing that for all of these bosses anyway. So probably something like a Kari tank as well as a Summer Kokoro again. Honestly, I reckon the team comp that I described before over here is probably going to work over here as well. However, However, the fallback, I guess the fallback for me is that if you can't tank with like the Kari or the Makoto tank, then I'll definitely look at the Jun comp. So I'm talking the Saren battery comp, this one over here. This guy is just like so freaking strong. Like I still have nightmares about him like from CB beta. So whilst I am going to like try the Kari face tank like this one down here, I'm probably going to have to go back to the Jun. I'm just personally not that confident in running like a tankless comp into this guy. Last time I think he forced us to use Miyako. I can't remember, but like it was freaking crazy. So the next thing I want to say about this boss is that there are a couple of techs that we can do. And the first was using a Tamaki. So if you don't want to like use a healer, which you shouldn't because you want more damage, then I would recommend trying a Tamaki because Tamaki is just going to like continuously steal TP off of this boss. And so therefore this boss is not going to be able to UB as frequently. I think, and I'm not sure, but I think that Tamaki can actually make this boss only UB once. And that is actually really freaking good. On the other hand, we also have Ayane. And I think you guys already know what Ayane does by now. Ayana has a big disrupt on her UB. So for example, maybe the wolf is about to do like some big fury swipe and then you use Ayana and it's gonna bonk him and then he's gonna stop doing it. And so therefore you kind of like skip that mechanic. Definitely another thing to try out. I do think that it's worth it. Especially because Ayana is also technically a DPS unit with some level of utility. All right, and last we've got Leo the lion. Let's go. As for Leo, Leo is a really interesting boss. So in, in essence, I'm not gonna read through all of this, but in essence, he like really tries to burn you. His UB is like an AOE attack, large physical damage, and a chance to burn you. Now this burn mechanic is really interesting because if your team is burning, he will do extra damage to you guys. And so what a couple of clans have done in the past is actually try to take advantage of this burning. Burning is continuous damage to your team and so therefore it is continuously generating TP for you. In some cases, some timelines have actually been able to like squeeze an extra UB out. But of course this is again dependent on RNG because the burn itself is also RNG. If you don't want to deal with that mechanic, especially because you're going to be taking extra damage from the burn, then I would suggest like using someone like Shizuru. Some kind of like physical defense up or physical shielding that will get you through the boss. Again, I'm trying to think of solutions that's going to work for everybody. So as with all boss fives, this guy goes into enrage at 50%. And from what I've seen, it is actually quite brutal. So therefore, I probably would not try run a tankless or like a no healer comp into post enrage. Pre enrage, I probably would actually try the um the face tanking comp. So something like like this. However, with maybe like a Summer Kokoro instead, or maybe a Yukari comp as well, something like that. I reckon that there is a chance that you can get away with this or like a Shizuru instead somewhere. However, for post and rage, he just hurts a lot more. And I really would recommend just like, just run the Miyako. Or if you have the Jun, just run the Jun. Like this guy is painful. So to summarize for boss five, I'd probably be looking to run something like uh, the Jun comp. So this one up here, this one for post and rage, for pre and rage, I'm going to try run something like this. Probably either try with the Kokoro. Kokoro switch 
to the front or use Summer Kokoro here. Otherwise, if that doesn't work, I'll probably just default to that. But otherwise, if that doesn't work, I'll probably be trying something like that. Sometimes we just can't get away with like face tanking with all of our like lovely units. And we got to bring in the heavy guns like Miyako to deal with it. Okay, so if you are insistent on running your magic team, where should you run it? If we come back over here, you can see that the beetle boss is on like probably the lower end of the magic defense spectrum. So this is probably where I would try it first. However, I don't know if it's going to do that well. I just unfortunately have not seen many timelines that are actually like utilizing the magic teams. I think I maybe saw one for like the boss four, but even then I was like, man, how do they pull this off? And the sad truth for this CB is that we've just got way too many like physical defense down units, like especially with the addition of Summer Kokoro, that it kind of makes it like not really make sense to run a team like this, especially when we only have one magical defense down unit. Again, after the CB, we are going to be getting Summer Kiaru, who is our second magical defense down unit. And from then on, we should be able to use magic comps all the freaking way. I admit that this video was kind of messy, especially in comparison to the other ones, but I hope that did help you. Like I said in the comments, I am going to try and make some comps for this CB. So I am going to try and post some videos like on day one and day two of the clan battle. Okay, with that being said, let's wrap up the video there. I've got a secret message for you guys. Leo, Leo the wolf. Actually, is that even his name? Oh, it's Orleon. That's okay. Leo will do. If you guys could drop that secret message down in the comments below, I would really appreciate it. It lets me know that you've made it to the end of the video and thank you for that. But otherwise, you guys already know what's happening. If this video has kind of helped you or like you kind of like it, then consider a like, a sub, a comment, and a pin, and a follow. You already know what it is. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.